you know, and I had to do some looking to find this. Right in here, there's a pop-up emitter. The grass grew over it, and it can't pop up and emit water. These little store-bought pop-ups are the number one reason for basement flooding, crawl space flooding. So you can see this is just, I mean, we have to cut the grass out around it. We're gonna remove it so that the homeowner has, man, this thing's a mess. There's a bunch of roots growing down inside it. I mean, this thing is really a mess. So this is why we reinvented the pop-up emitter. We went ahead and designed a pop-up that has a turf restrictor plate so the grass can grow on the plate and not over the part that discharges. Now the grass roots are all growing down inside this and they got it completely cogged. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And Hang on a second. You can't get inside these, by the way. It's a failed design. So we're just gonna break it so that I can show you, so that I can show you that it's plugged. All right, so you can see all the grass roots grew down in it. Because it couldn't pop up, it wouldn't let the leaves out either. So look at this. Look at this, all this is root. This is the most important part of any drain system is the discharge end. 90% of all drain system failures happen right here at the discharge end. You have to be vigilant. Man, this is just... So they don't have a leaf filter. So of course, it's just full of organic material. I don't know. All I can do is just keep educating homeowners because when you're having tens of thousands of dollars worth of foundation damage done to your house and you're losing family heirlooms from a flooded basement, all you have to do is just check the discharge end. Just a little bit of maintenance. As long as you have the knowledge, you're armed with the knowledge and the wisdom on how to take care of your discharge lines, homeowners can avoid these really costly problems. And this is just a huge inconvenience in life. When you suffer from a flooded basement, man, you feel violated. It's a horrible experience. So we're gonna put in one of our pop-up emitters and then we're gonna add a leaf filter up at the house. Our solution was to have a pop-up that the grass could grow on, but it wouldn't grow over the discharge. Now it gives the homeowner plenty of time to cut the grass around the turf restrictor plate a couple times a year. That's all you need. This little one was buried. It didn't work. The water wasn't coming off the roof. It was a problem. We're gonna replace it with a pop-up emitter with a turf restrictor plate. Also, I like being able to get in here. I can reach in here. If there's like tree buds or tree seeds down in the fitting, we can take care of it that way. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this video, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.